Hello and welcome to another update video about Ethereum. So we have started a possible decline. I'm now favoring that the impulse here is in place and that we're starting a pullback that in my opinion ideally would be a wave two, but we will see. In the live stream today, we talked about target for that rally to the upside. Uh, 1792 was the target. It reached 1784, 1785. I think that was close enough, missed it by a few dollars, but um, we talked about that the minimum requirement was anyway reached here with the um, price making a higher high than wave three. So, and then just waiting for a pullback. So we found resistance so far in that resistance area. This red box is resistance. We talked about that in today's video, in yesterday's video. And for now, I assume that a more substantial top is in place. What would now be my expectation where the price should ideally go to? Ideally, I'd like to see the price now get into the region between 1459 and 1575. These price levels already stood earlier today and um, we talked about them before. Yeah, I think already in the previous video, if not, then I published them on Discord and Telegram earlier. This is still relevant. Because of the five wave move to the upside and the greater context, the bigger context of the chart, I'm currently in favor of um, that this was a wave one because we have five waves, pretty clear five wave structure. And that in a pullback we could come down into this area and if we hold it and that would be the 50 the 1459 level if we hold 1459 it could send us then afterwards higher in a third wave to two thousand dollars plus in that next wave up we would then also break above the red resistance zone however it is going to be a warning if we drop below 1459 please consider that yeah i mean there is no guarantee that this support area is now holding I think we've got a good chance because we've got a five wave move to the upside. However, it could very well be, and that's the alternative count. I think it doesn't fit so well, but it is possible um, that this fifth wave yeah, never finished on the 16th of Feb, but that this was the completion of the fifth wave. And then wave four would have finished here. That is possible, um, even though we dropped a little bit lower than it would be ideal for this wave four. Yeah, we dropped below that 50% retracement here. Um, still acceptable and possible though. Yeah, we broke down to, in, in this scenario, I didn't want um, ETH to break 1400, but let's be honest, it only briefly, I think for a day broke to 1370 and then recovered. So that's still a possibility. If that is the case, that we head away five to the upside, then we will come down now back into the green support area and the levels are still relevant. So anybody who missed an entry here would then have a chance to re-enter. Yeah, and then that's the area between 1218 and 1488. Very relevant. But there's no way of knowing which one it is. This is not one that I prefer. Um, and that's due to the questionable structure and because it dropped a little bit too far, but it's a possibility. Another possibility is that um, indeed the wave five of one finished on the 16th of February up here around 1744. Um, but that we didn't come down to finish off a wave two we only finished off an a wave this was a b wave and we are now coming down in a c wave in that case also the green support area is going to be relevant again and um, we are probably going to come down sort of into the 1400 range again low 1400 range maybe even a little bit lower um, not my favorite count because the move to the upside was impulsive okay so that leaves at the moment one primary, which is that we're already in a more of an escalation chart to the upside. Um, and that is an indication, or the indication would be that we rallied here in a wave one, and we're now gonna come down in a wave two. And we would then from here take it higher. So that's now my view. So very briefly, as long as we're holding 1459, we can focus on higher in the yellow wave count. Well, actually not yellow, in, in the white wave count highlighted here, one, two, three, four, five that would eventually send it higher and that would be a third wave. So we have here off the weekend lows a wave one coming down in two, rallying in three. The yeah, the, the boxes are relevant here. They are still um, okay, the levels. And, um, but below 1459, it's either the situation that we're coming down in a C wave um, or that we just finished off the, the yellow five up there and we're coming down in 
uh, in ABC in Wave 2. But um, these are very similar scenarios then in the end. But for now, as long as we're holding 1459, we can focus directly on higher in the third wave. I think this is probably the most simple way to put it. We've got basically three scenarios to watch, but um, two are not ideal structurally. So leaves me with this one two setup um, that fits also the altcoins very well. How is that how is that embedded in a in the larger count? Well, in terms of the larger wave count, we've got this situation that indeed the rally here of those November lows could have been a wave one. This would have been a wave two, and we rally now in a third wave. But it could also just be an A wave, a B wave, and a C wave, yeah, for, for the people who don't believe that a bull run has started yet, and that's absolutely fine. Uh, I also don't believe a bull run has started. We take it level by level and just trade the waves, right? So, um, but it could have started. <laughs> it could have started. But um, yeah, let's see what uh, it, the, the next pullback, which it possibly started now and the relevant levels I gave you, they will tell us more about how Ethereum is going to behave in the next few days and possibly weeks. Um, yeah, we're coming down. It, it looks like that. I mean... That we come down quite sharply is not necessarily a surprise after such a strong rally. And I also highlighted that typically what you see here is um, if the A wave is an impulse, it will be quite strong. Then a B wave up and a C wave down. It's likely that the A wave will find support somewhere around the wave four low, no, maybe a little lower, and then going up again in a B wave and then coming down in a C. It will take a couple of days. Yeah. Okay, that's my update about Ethereum. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.